So um, again, adding things th through camera view. Not that easy. Uh, not in library. Okay, so actually, you could go to another program to do it. You could, for example, place things in Blender and then bring it back to Lightweight. Anyway, it's kind of embarrassing. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to try to figure out a fast way to do this. Um, okay, first of all, I'm just going to reduce this one. 0 0.05. And the reason is why I'm doing that, why I'm... Well, first of all, this has just too many points, right? Or polygons. So I need to reduce this. I'm not going to place, you know, stuff all over here. Um, and here, well, I have to, um, I have to um, reduce this quite a lot because uh, this select by normal crashes if it's too many polygons. Anyway, you don't want to place your trees here. You want to place them about something like that in that angle, right? So okay. 40% invert and delete. So this is where you would place your trees. Maybe not on this area here and maybe not on that one. And maybe not back here as well. So what we're going to do um, is that we're actually going to take these and uh, we're, we're going to just delete this stuff here where we don't, um, where we're not going to place anything. So let's see, is this connected? Yep, so we'll delete that right there. This one was a bit much. Maybe I want to place... Okay, I can keep that, I guess. Uh, I think I'm not going to place anything here and here. It's kind of like on the top of the mountain, not really. Where I would place stuff. Okay. Um, so, but the other, got, other polygons here, I might place some trees or vegetation right there. Um... Okay, um, the thing is though, you're always going to add, you're always going to add uh, more uh, polygons in the front compared to in the back, right? So Maybe we should look into that, how uh, we could focus on this area. Mm, or not. Let's see, how can we do this? Um, well, I think one, one thing is for sure, and that is that in the front, I might actually add uh, several or much more stuff. So I think I'm just going to go like this, like that. And even though that has uh, a lot of deselected, oops, uh, or, or even though those have big polygons, I'm actually gonna add more info here. So um, go like this, for example. So hopefully now um, uh, the Partigan em emitter will pick that up. And yes, I said Partigan emitter, because that's what we're gonna use 
in uh, layout. Okay. So in layout. Uh, let's go for VPR. And um, you know what? I actually need to lock these guys. I need to take both of these and lock them. So so I don't do anything wrong later on. Because later on I'm going to select uh, a lot of stuff here. So I don't want to select these by mistake. So that's the first step. Um, okay, I take this one now. No, actually we can go about this different ways. Um, I'm going to take this one and uh, this will not work. I go like that. If I go down here, it will work. Current item, turn layer one. So I'm not sure why I can not select here while I can select down here. I don't know. Anyway, so render that one? No, I'm not going to render that one. Not for now. Backdrop I can put on backdrop here. Uh, layer number two, up down button doesn't work, but I can't say, but I can say current item layer two. Okay, so FX emitter, um, go here, and actually I forgot to say OpenGL overlay. Now just slices down or to zero, so that box is zero size. Um, per second, no, we're going to do by frame. And I think I will add 2000 here actually. And I will add 2000 as a particle limit of course. Um, okay, so you can see that it clearly helped to add a lot of polygons here just in the front so that's very good uh, I could have added some more back here but all right um, maybe I should just do that actually come to think of it let's try it so you can see that in this area I was missing stuff so let's just try to yeah polygons with more than four sides can have so do I don't blah 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 what you're going to do then is that you've got to take those ones that they claim are so evil and you've got to triple them and that's all you need to do now you can subdivide okay so let's just deselect this and go like that subdivide okay now let's go back to the layout and see if this changed anything. It doesn't seem like anything updated, which is kind of weird. Um, it should have. So why is that? Do not ask me. 2000 particles, and we've got the same info here. Turn that off, turn that on again. Ah, there we go. Now it's different. Okay. Um, so that's better. Now I notice that converting these uh, guys to uh, nulls took a long time. Actually, uh, the computer locked on ten thousand part uh, on ten thousand nulls. Um, it's kind of strange though because converting two thousand nulls or at least one thousand five was just you know a couple of you know a few seconds 15 seconds or so so it's, I don't know what's up with that anyway so just be careful not to push that too high uh, actually that's what we're, we're gonna do just now um, we are going to go here this is again yeah and these are locked and that's good because we're, when we're going to select these nulls later on we don't want to make the mistake and select the wrong thing 
Anyway, so I got 2000 particles here. And then I'm going to take that FX linker with no undo and I'm going to replace, uh, use the particles on this layer. OK. And replace with that terrain layer. No way. No. I'm going to replace that with a null. Actually, I forgot to add a null. Um, need to go out, get out of here, and see they see. Uh, add a null. Okay. Um, back here. Do this over again. And replace the particles with that null and actually you're set to go to go but the thing is here that it says one copy if you want one copy you want two thousand particles so that's important to remember then you hit OK and hopefully now this shouldn't take too long uh, 1500 was OK and OK it looks like 2000 is alright too uh, VPR will bug a bit here, I don't know why, but uh, actually you could just turn that off, oops, turn that off, VPR, and turn it on again, I don't know why. Anyway, um, thing now is that, um, let's take terrain layer 2, and remember that we said have, we wanted terrain layer 1 to be unseen. We don't want that anymore. We want it to be seen and we want layer number 2 to be unseen. Just makes more sense now. Um, so, got a bunch of nulls and um, now what, you know, you see that these nulls are kind of big. So going to scale this. Uh, not really sure why that shortcut is called in English. So it, uh, is it called a hard bracket or something like that? Something like that. I don't know. Anyway, you click that uh, to change the size of the nulls and then you press comma to zoom out. I've uh, got a small bug here so Anyway, you can see how this operates. That's why I got this small box, so that's why I get this error message when hitting that. I don't know why. Um, okay, so uh, actually, th these are the nulls. Actually, it's kind of slow to move around now. So maybe I should zoom in one more time. Make those nulls a bit bigger, actually. Then it's faster to scroll. Actually that might have something to do with VPR as well. Yeah, that too. Anyway, I think the nulls are okay. Um, now what we're gonna do, now I can just pretend that we're in, in uh, camera view here. Because that's, after all, the whole point with this tutorial or preview. Now, okay, so you can select these guys, and that's a nice thing. Um, that's what we want. Manually add these guys. Of course, you can zoom in to get more control of just what, which ones you want to add. Um, so in one way it's good, in another way it's kind of bad because I can't really deselect by holding down shift or or control or alt. Uh, well I can actually click like this though, I can hold down shift and and click like that. Well I guess that's okay. Um, Anyway, so actually maybe this is not all that bad actually. 
but I think I need to find a better way to spread these nulls uh, in, in a smarter smarter way anyway again let's pretend we're in camera view and well the thing is here's where life kind of screws up because um, you got replace with object you don't have this one you don't because that's the plugin I installed Lightroom has replace with object and while that is nice you have to click it once for each null which is really stupid um, so yeah why would you want to do that so there you go you added some trees hey what the that's Christmas trees. Um, so, um, yeah, you don't want to do that. You just want to drag like that, and then you want to say uh, replace with all objects and take this one. Shake it, bang. Blotch it, did it right. Okay. So, um, again. Can even make a whole auto hot script, auto hot key script to make that work faster. Um, now, of course, you can also, if you're not sure about this one, well, you can just say you replace that with a null. I'm not sure about these guys replace with a null. So, um, or maybe I should have this one after all. So, uh, at least it's possible, even though it's a drag. Um, well, I mean, it's not a drag, not that much anymore. Once you get, once you get a good workflow going on um, then you can actually live with this for a while <laughs> I guess um, so yeah that's how you can manually place these suckers so I think that's that. Um, manually placing stuff in Lightwave in camera view. Yes, I know, it's not camera view. This is camera view. But uh, you know what I mean. If you absolutely want camera view, I'll give you camera view. Go here. Replace with all objects. Tree. Okay. So that's it. Again, might be an idea to create an auto out key script for s stuff like this. So uh, yeah, there we go.